Welcome to Raw Online. Today's session will be Fibrous Skeleton and Conducting System of the Heart. I am Dr. Rajapriya, Professor of Anatomy. At the end of the session, the learners must be able to describe fibrous skeleton of the heart and they must be able to mention the parts, position, arterial supply of the conducting system of the heart. What is fibrous skeleton of heart? We are all made up of a skeleton. Similarly, heart is made up of a skeleton which is fibrous in nature. It is made up of dense fibrous tissue made up of collagen. What is its function? It supports the musculature of heart and it maintains the discontinuity between atrial and ventricular musculature. Where it is present? It is present at the valvular region. And what are the uses? What may be its uses? If needed, Prosthetic valves can be fixed to it during valve replacement surgeries. This picture shows you the fibrous skeleton of the heart. So, this is the tricuspid valve fibrous skeleton and this is the bicuspid valve fibrous skeleton and this is the aortic semilunar valve skeleton and this is the pulmonary valve. It is present at the valvular region. And on the right side, you can see apart from these valves close to the valvular region, there is tendon of todaro. And along the epicardium, there will be some fibrous connective tissue will be present. Along the valves, fibrous connective tissue will be present. So, this epicardium is also made up of fibrous connective tissue of collagen. Tendon of todaro is made up of fibrous connective tissue of collagen. What are the components of this fibrous skeleton? It is made up of four rings surrounding two atrioventricular orifices and aortic and pulmonary orifice. So, this is one orifice which circulates, uh, which encircles the right atrioventricular orifice. This is a second ring which encircles the left atrioventricular orifice and this is the aortic ring and this is the pulmonary ring. Okay, and it is made up of tendon of infundibulum. Where is its tendon of infundibulum present? The tendon of infundibulum is present between the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. So, between this and this, there will be a structure called as tendon of infundibulum. And there is another fibrous skeleton called as, this is, right fibrous trigone and this is left fibrous trigone. These are the structures which are the components of the fibrous skeleton. So, what are they made up of? They are made up of four rings encircling two orifices, aortic orifice, pulmonary orifice, tricuspid orifice and mitral orifice. Tendon of infundibulum extends between the pulmonary orifice and the aortic orifice. This is called as right fibrous trigone which is present between the aortic orifice and the right tricuspid orifice. Left fibrous trigone is present between the aortic orifice and the mitral valve. All these junctions, the right fibrous trigone, left fibrous trigone, all these are components of fibrous skeleton of the heart. What these are all exactly, we will deal later. So, right fibrous trigone is otherwise called as trigonum fibrosum dextrum and left fibrous trigonum is otherwise called as trigonum fibrosum sinistrum. This is another picture. I label down all the pictures first. So, what is this orifice? This is the tricuspid orifice. This tricuspid orifice as a valve or an annulus, it is made up of two prongs and these prongs are called as phylia coronaria and in between the two phylo coronaria there is a sulcus which is filled with a connective tissue called as sulcal connective tissue and this is a mitral orifice made up of two valves tricuspid orifice is made up of three cusps mitral valve is a bicuspid valve made up of two cusps this is also made up of two phylia coronaria two phylia coronaria connected together by a sulcal connective tissue. Okay. Then coming to the aortic orifice, this aortic orifice has a scallop shaped, scallop shaped, uh, this fibrous ring, this is the scallop shape and between 
Aortic orifice is the central orifice between the aortic orifice and the tricuspid orifice and the mitral orifice. There is a connective tissue. This connective tissue is called as central fibrous body or otherwise called as right fibrous trigone. Where is the left fibrous trigone? Left fibrous trigone is present between the aortic valve and the mitral valve. This is left fibrous trigone. What is conus ligament or tendon of infundibulum? You can see here. This is the conus ligament or the tendon of infundibulum which extends between the pulmonary, see this is a pulmonary orifice, between the pulmonary orifice and the aortic orifice. So, between these two there is another fibrous skeleton or the fibrous tissue which supports the aortic and the pulmonary region that is called as tendon, conus ligament or otherwise called as tendon of infundibulum. So, we have read the rings of tricuspid valve, rings of mitral valve, rings of aortic valve formed by scallops, rings of pulmonary valve formed by scallops and there is tendon of infundibulum, there is a central fibrous body otherwise called as right fibrous trigone, there is a left fibrous trigone or otherwise called as fibrosum sinistrum, trigonum fibrosum sinistrum. So, these are the exact structure which forms a fibrous skeleton of the heart. Coming to the position of the rings, the position of the valvular rings, they all do not lie in the same plane. In the center, aortic annulus is present in the center and mitral and tricuspid ring are attached to aortic ring on one side. On the one side, mitral valve which is a bicuspid valve is attached. On the other side, tricuspid valve is attached. On the other side, of the aortic ring, pulmonary ring is attached. So, they do not lie in the same plane. Centrally, aortic annulus is present. One side of the aortic annulus is related to bicuspid valve and the tricuspid valve. Other side of the aortic annulus is related to the pulmonary valve. Coming to the pulmonary ring, pulmonary ring will be attached to the aortic valve alone. In this picture, we can see the different levels of the valves present. So, this is the aortic semilunar valve and this is the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve on one side of the aorta. On the other side, opposite side of the aortic orifice, pulmonary semilunar valve is present. These are regarding the position of rings. <laughs>